How's it going, everybody? Um, I'm super excited for this video, honestly, because uh, last weekend I had the opportunity to uh, check a bucket list item off and I got a chance to go to one of the places that every skater wants to go to on earth, Woodward, Pennsylvania. Honestly, I got to give a shout out to my buddy, Roland Rainier. Josh Rainier, uh, he let me know about the open skate nights over at Woodward East in Pennsylvania and let me know to go check them out on the website and sign up for one. You can pre-register. They're about 60 bucks and you get to go from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. for a full day ride. And then they got a night session. Um, and when I found that out, I was like, I have to go. I sent a message to a couple of the guys that I rollerblade with here. Uh, you've seen them on the channel in a few of my edits before. We all carpooled on our way up. When we got there, I had a couple of goals. One, I'm not going to share quite yet. You'll see it at the end of the video. And uh, it's probably one of the reasons why you'll see in this video, I spent a lot of my time in the foam pits because uh, when I was a kid, I didn't have foam pits. There was, there was no foam pits around. Resi ramps didn't become a thing until after I was already, you know, done skating. So I really went ham on the foam pits because much like every skater, you want to, you really want to try some risky things safely if you can, before you try to land it on your wheels. And, um, I'm happy to say I, I came home with a W on one of them. Uh, stay tuned, check out all these awesome clips. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and all that jazz. So here we go. Here's Woodward. Well, welcome to Woodward. This was my childhood dream back in the day, to come here uh, and spend a week at camp and get, like, really good at skating. You know, maybe one day come become sponsored and stuff. But, yeah, you can probably see in the background, that is the Mega Ramp all the way back there. I don't know if you guys can see it all the way. A big ass metal structure in the back. Unfortunately, it's raining out. So all the outdoor parks like this beautiful one closed down for the day. So, uh, so far we've, I've gotten a little bit of a tour of the park. Landed something that I dreamed of when I was a kid. Never thought I would do it as an adult, but here we go. Let's go find out or find some more trouble to get into. I got that from below. Yes, yes! Yeah. 
Who's got this? Right, guys these next couple of clips could use a little bit of explanation as you can see i'm going for landing my first ever backflip it's something that i've wanted to do ever since i was a kid landing front flips as kids never tried a backflip figured out how to throw them here in the foam pits the story kind of goes like this um after i was ready to start throwing things to a resi ramp or a regular ramp lot eight where the fly box that is kind of built for the skaters to start trying some things safely was pretty packed at the moment. So we kind of went back to Cloud9 Skate Park and at that skate park, they had a another foam pit and also a resi ramp that was a spine. So I kind of got the idea in my head Instead of waiting for the launch ramp to be open in lot eight, I decided to start attempting backflips on a spine resi. And here's how it went. Rolling up the windows. And so you can see, I landed my first ever backflip. It wasn't the prettiest, but at the same point, at 37, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, win any competitions or get sponsored here. But, you know, landing a backflip now has, is one of the coolest feelings ever. I'm definitely gonna go back and clean them up. Woodward was amazing. I'm already planning to go back there at least once, if not twice before the end of this year and hope to get a lot more stuff and uh, learn a lot more things, of course, safely, and hopefully we get some more lands. But if you've been watching this far, thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. And um, see you guys soon on the next one. Later.